Today's video is going to be showing you guys how to make a cheap arboreal enclosure. And for this project, you're going to need a marker to mark your drilling sites, an enclosure, I got this one from my local dollar store, a drill, and a drill bit smaller than the carapace of your spider so they can't escape when you're done. And since I'm going to be rehousing an Avicularia purple perusling, I'm going to be using this drill bit. Okay, so I've marked the holes that I'm going to be drilling, and I've allowed for plenty of side ventilation, like Avicularia's need, as well as some top ventilation in case the side holes ever get plugged or blocked with any webs or anything. This is what it looks like after drilling. But as you can see, there are some burrs left on the top that could potentially catch the spider's leg if they were to stick through the hole, so we'll need to remove them. When I remove the burrs on my drilled hole, I get a drill bit substantially larger than the hole, and just gently turn it with my hand until all of the plastic burrs are gone. And you definitely want to do this by hand, because if you put it in a drill, it can drill too fast and make the hole too large or make the burrs worse, and I have experience with both of those. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long, and it leaves a really smooth finish that will allow the spider's legs to go back in if they were to pull them out, and they won't get caught. This is what it looks like after removing all of the plastic burrs. And as you can see, it is substantially smoother than it was before. Alright, I actually decided to drill some extra holes in the top to allow for some extra ventilation. And since I didn't film the first time I drilled holes, I decided I would film this one to show you guys how I drill the holes in my enclosures. And when you're drilling holes in enclosures, you want to make sure the drill bit is as perpendicular to the surface as possible. And that means it's not off to any weird angles like this, or down like this. And that allows you to make the neatest hole possible, which will make burr removal the easiest and look the best in the final product. And since this is a drill, you want to make sure your hand is clear of where the drill is going to be piercing the plastic so that you don't get caught by the drill bit when it finally gets through and you won't get injured by the drill bit either. Alright, there's the first hole and I'm going to finish the rest of them off camera. Alright guys, here's the final product with the extra holes on the top as well as plenty of ventilation on the sides to keep the air inside from getting stagnant. And as always, thanks for watching!